Good afternoon, my name is Matthew Kim, and I'm a Yale Scholar at the University of Georgia, Griffith Campus. Today we're going to be doing an experiment that shows how the, the temperature from the water inside of this container affects the air pressure inside of here. Uh, so basically it's just an example of heat transfer. So what we have here is a balloon, one red balloon, one blue balloon, and two glass bottles. Red for hot and blue for cold. So we're going to put balloons on top of the glass bottles. So we have the balloon on top of the bottles. We're going to place the balloon inside of the, we're going to place the glass inside of the, the boiling hot water or the near boiling water. Alright. We're going to take, place this glass bottle inside of the ice water. Set the timer for about 10 minutes. All right, we're going to see what happens. All right, so we waited about 10 minutes. Um, as you can see, a visible difference between the two bottles. In this bottle, in the hot, in the hot bottle, you can tell that the balloon is really, 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 really blown up. All right, and then here in the, in the cold water. The, the, the actual balloon is actually being sucked back into the bottle. Alright, so the reason that this occurs is because that when we place the, the glass bottle inside of the hot water, the molecules, the air molecules inside of the bottle will speed up and cause, you know, will bounce everywhere and will bounce inside of the balloon, causing the balloon to expand. Inside of the cold water, you can tell that the, the air molecules are slowing down, causing the, the molecules to drop and slow down and drop lower to the ground, sucking the air from the balloon into the, the glass bottle.